Hello everyone and welcome back to the beginner's crafting guide level 1 to 80 to 50 million gil. Once you've done level 41 main story quests, you can come to Gridania uh, in the Twin Adders, the Grand Company. And Serpent Lieutenant will give you this quest to unlock the Exile Beast Right. Once you finish that quest, you can now accept the first Exile quest as... You need to be a crafter, as a crafter. Otherwise you can't accept a quest. Alright, and uh, the quest giver will give you a material to craft with. And you, to in order to craft Ixal quests, things for Ixal quests, you have to equip the Ixal wrist gloves. So be sure to equip that, otherwise you can't. And just go to Beast Tribe Quests under your recipes. And there you will find it. The first ones you don't have to HQ, you just finish the craft. Yeah, once that quest done, now we can accept the daily quests. These quests reset every day around when the roulettes will reset. So you just do them. You have 12 Beast Tribe allowances and I think you can dedicate 3 or 6 to Exile. Let's do it anyway. The quests are similar the one you just did to unlock it. You just do some errand and you have to craft something at the end of it. So it's really simple. But there is this. Exile 9 Municipal. This one is different. This one is like Grand Company Daily. They have you deliver certain things. You go to timers and there you can see what they want for each class. And if it's star just like Grand Company you get extra rewards. XP and yeah extra XP. It's just mainly XP here. I happen to already have fish oil, so let's just hand it in. So just see... You just see which one... Is easier for you to craft, and just focus on that one. Or which class you need the XP for the most. And just do that one, it's totally up to you, you have a lot of options. Okay, so just hand those in, and now we can get it. And you also get ventures, which is nice. Look, that was insane amount of XP just from uh, for one daily quest. All right, those three quests are done. Look at the insane XP amount about to gain. And you can hand in quests as any crafter class, which is nice. You can do it with a different crafting class, but you can hand it in with a different one if you want the XP for that one, which is nice. That's one level in one quest. Another level. Almost another level. So, and if you go to character, profile, or was it uh, reputation, sorry. If you go to reputation, you can see Ixal, 130 out of 150. So you have a ranking system for each beast tribe. As you rank up, you get new quests and you unlock new stuff in the be vendor, beast tribe vendor and all of that stuff. So we need to get to highest rank as soon as possible. Yeah, it's three quests per beast tribe. You can't do more, but there is a trick before you rank up. Once reset, I will show you that. And we can see the... Let's repair actually, yeah. And you can see the vendor. You can purchase items. And... Uh, oak notes we get later, yeah. Next is Cabold Beast Tribe. You need to be level 42. Uh, have done the level 42 main scenario quests. And you can unlock it here in Limsa Lominsa.
And next is Sylph Beast Tribe. You need to have completed level 42 main scenario quest and you unlock it in the Twin Adders Giridania Grand Company. They sell Velveteens, which is really good. So you don't have to farm Diaramite stuff. And next is Almaja Beast Tribe. They sell steel ingots, mithril ingots, and so on. And you get it from Swift in Old Das Grand Company. And you need to be level 43 and have completed level 43 story quests. And last but not least among the Around Reborn Beast Tribes is the Sahagin. Once you've done level 44 main story scenarios. Come talk to the Storm Commander in Limsa Lominsa. They sell mainly culinary ingredients. Okay, so it's the next reset for Ixal. As you can see, I'm 130 out of 150. And each quest gives 20. So what you do is hand in one quest just to get the last 20 and then don't hand in the rest yet there will be the quest available to rank you up to next rank doing this doing the quest first will reset so you don't lose out on the points on these last two quests I already have completed Plus, it will reset so that you will have three more quests available right after. Really neat idea to do. Always don't let your reputation points go to waste like this. Again, let's not forget about fishing. So once you hit level 15, you get this trait that you lets you fish ocean fishing. And you can just come here to Western Lanosia. You can buy the rat tails from the vendor here near the aetherite and we can fish here in the brewer's beacon. Just pop a gathering food and just sit and fish for a while. I would suggest until level 20 or 25 would be good. Rat tail, yeah there we go. And just put on some music, put on like Netflix maybe. I know fishing is probably not every for everyone, but it's really good to have it at 80 as well. And if you have rusted XP, as you can see, it's really a lot of XP. And that when you get to level 20. Crafter class quest, they will ask you to deliver certain piece of gear with materia enhanced. To unlock materia enhancing, you come here to Th Central Thanalan in the bonfire and talk to this guy for a quest to unlock melding. You can do it at level 19, as soon as you hit level 19 as well, if you don't want to wait for that quest. Now we unlocked Materia Assimilation. Uh, it's basically converting a piece of gear to get Materia. When you use gear you gain Spirit Bond. And once it reaches 100% Spirit Bond you can convert it to get a piece of Materia. Not all gear are convertible but most are. Crafted gear are convertible. I'll just look for something. Yeah I'll just convert these pants. You just right click or press square and say convert and you get materia. And now we can unlock materia melding. Talk to Marvelously Mutable Materia. Same place, talk to this Lalafell.
Oh no, that's for material transmutation. But I think with that, those quests, we also get material melding, right? No, that wasn't it. I guess it's this quest. Oh yeah, it's this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just... All of them are level 19, so just unlock all of them. The, just to give you a brief for material transmutation, though. You basically just give five random materia and you get a different materia back. Sometimes with a higher grade if you're lucky. Okay. And now, once you reach level 25, you can also unlock over melding. Forced materia melding. So how this is working is like you have, with every piece of gear, you have one or two materia slots, right? But you can meld up to five materials total uh, on any piece of gear if they have at least one material slot but those forced melts above the material slots are really rare you have to you have a certain percentage of uh, the chance to meld it So I'm just gonna buy some random grade 1 material just to test it for you guys. Material, grade 1 material is really expensive for some reason. Let's just buy like a couple of these. Okay, so... Generally I add the material melding ability on my hotbar so I access it. Okay. So we weld one, two materia. The guaranteed slots is 100% chance that they go in, right? You need only one materia for the level 20 quest, by the way. I'm just showing you this. And now, once you... Oh, yeah. Okay, so for that quest, we have to meld 8 materia. It can be anything. You can try to get some cheap materia on the market board or just get them yourself. So just do 8 materia for that quest. If you don't have gear to meld to it, just craft something cheap that have materia slots. Okay, so once we melt 8 material, we can finally hand in the quest, and now we have advanced material melting. So just to show you how it exactly is. You see this gear, I have 2 materia on the materia slots. I could melt 3 more. That's why I needed to unlock the advanced material melting. For the first over melt, we call this over melt. It's 80% for grade 1 materia to go in. So if you have a 20% chance it could fail and you lose your materia, okay? This one was successful. And then for the fourth one, as you can see, it went to 40%. And so on. And obviously we have up to grade 8 materia right now in the game. And grade 8 on the last slot will be as low as 4. Well, we can't overmelt more than one grade 1, but let's say grade 7. Grade 7 on the last slot will be like 5%, something insane like that. Alrighty, just hit level 22. Well, updated the gear to level 21. I don't have a 21 piece on me, so you can follow the current steps that I'm gonna do at 21 as well. It's just that I level so fast, it's hard to stop leveling. I also made uh, those two rings. 
level 19 off hand level 20 main hand from the level 20 class quest the left side you can make yourself as well it's just in kill gear all right we got a new ability great strike it increases the efficiency of next touch by 100% so it's best to use it when you have the most inner quiet stacks. So save great strides for the end of the craft, for your last touch before you finish it. So let's demonstrate it for you a little bit. I'm using the frumenti food still for that extra 10 CP and more experience gain. And I didn't go through a 40 durability recipe last time, so let's do that now. I also made the macro for level 25 uh, 70 durability which I'm gonna show you right after all right let's do this inner quiet first uh, as usual oh nice we got a tricks of the trade we we can replace one hasty with basic touch now because we got CP for it then ingenuity Oh, sorry, it's waste, n do waste not then ingenuity when it's 40 durability, my bad. So, inner quiet, waste not, ingenuity, get that basic synth out of the way, so we run away from finishing the craft, and then hasty touches, until 5 durability remaining. So four hasty touches. Oh nice, we got a uh, tricks of the trade, which means the next hasty touch we can replace with basic touch to guarantee it's successful. Now we restore our durability with master's mend. Okay. Uh, then we have two more hasty touches. One of them I can replace with basic touch because we got good condition. Basic touch. Oh nice, I got another tricks of the trade which I can do another basic touch. Awesome. And then still have enough CP left. Oh wow. Another tricks of the trade. Well, I'll take it. So here is how you finish finish the craft. Now uh, that we got great strides. So we do great strides. We actually got enough CP to do ingenuity as well because we because we got so many tricks of the traits. See, this is why manual crafting is better than macro. You utilize tricks of the trade really well. So ingenuity, we have enough CP for it. And then we do standard touch. Oh, we got lucky. We got it under good condition as well. That's gonna be a lot of quality gain. Then we do standard touch. Look at that, 94%. Damn, that is really nice. It's really fun too. Rather than just pressing one macro. But I'm still gonna share a macro with you. Oh, we still AQ'd it. Wow, that's unlucky. Oh well. So that's manual crafting for 40 durability for you. Now let's do the macro that I just created for 40 durability. Link in the description. So you can copy paste it if you're on PC. Links for resources will always be in the video description. There you go, that's the macro, and then I also made one for up to level 25 recipe. Here it is, let's execute it. This one doesn't have great strides, I will utilize great strides for 70 durability later when I also get innovation. For now I'll just 
it was just easier to all oh, it's because it ended up being almost the same macro because if I if you want to utilize great strides for 70 durability you're gonna have durability left over in my opinion it's just better to stick with the amount of hasty touches and basic touches for the CP that you have so there you go that's the level 25 recipe macro as well so you can use this macro when you're level 21 and you can do up to level 25 recipes with it 70 durability just make sure you have the gear I showed and you should be good once I reach level 26 I will make macros for up to level 30 recipes and we will also get innovation which I will utilize in the macro next macro All right, just hit 26, which means we can do the level 30 macro I just created. 70 durability. And uh, it uses innovation. Innovation increases both synthesis and touch efficiency. So you just find certain spots in the rotation to use it. I also use it for the last two touches. So, one, one touch uses innovation, and then the last one uses innovation plus great strides, because innovation will have four steps. So it, it will combine with ingenuity and great strides for the most effect. Alright, let's use it. Uh, I wanna show you that, so it doesn't cover the craft window anyway this one was longer so it has to be two macros so first you do macro number one for 40 durability just use the old macro and if for some reason it doesn't finish the craft just replace one touch with basic synthesis and you should be good It's just a rule of thumb for any macro actually. If you find that your craftsmanship is lower than what I show, what I have in the macro, craftsmanship requirement, just you just replace one hasty toss with basic synthesis and you should be good. Okay, that's macro number one done. Then macro number two. As you can see it that touch used both ingenuity and innovation and then great strides for the last for the last standard touch. So there you go. So you can as soon as you're level 26 you can use this macro. I upgraded my tool to level 24 one, item level 24. I'm just gonna go through the gear every time I share a macro with you so you can see what type of gear I have but you can also see the craftsmanship and control and CP. I'm still using the Ferumenti food that I buy from the culinarian vendor in the main city. Soon I will upgrade food as well so we get more CP. Offhand was upgraded too from last time. So there you go. Alright, just hit level 31. And starting from level 31, the 70 durability becomes 80 durability now. So we have one extra ability to use. So I made the macro for level 35. So you can start using it as soon as you're 31 and upgraded your gear to to high quality, silver needle, volvatine left side, all at high quality. With the macros and rotation I showed you, I recommend using the rotation, you have a higher chance using, H, uh, using HQ materials and utilizing tricks of the trade as I showed you previously. 
it would be easy for you to HQ this. It was really easy. Silver rings of crafting, wristlet of crafting, silver. The brass choker is unchanged. Horn earrings and still level 23 offhand. So that's 162 craftsmanship, 170 control, 288 CP using P soup and Q. P soup and Q, which gives 21 CP. You can craft this really easily with your culinarian. Just gather jade peas or just buy them from the market board and craft it yourself. The other materials you can buy from the cooking section of the housing in. NPC that I showed you all right so now we have food buff up we have the gear let's use the macro this is level 35 I will also show you the 40 durability macro that I upgraded as well since we upgraded gear macros has to be upgraded too so here is macro number one I love how this macro turned out, it's perfectly m calculated, it, we have 0 CP remaining at the end of the craft, just, just see for yourself, okay, macro number 2. Just like that. Let me show you the 40 durability one as well. Links in the video description of course. Getting lucky with those hasty touches, 60%. This one was good calculated as well, it was only 4 CP remaining at the end. So there you go. I think we will be able to use this ma these two macros until level 40, but I have to confirm that for myself once I get to 36 and I will try these macros on a level 40 recipe and let you know, show you as well. Otherwise the next ability we get is at level 37, it's name of elements and brand of the elements. I will utilize this once we get to 41. I cuz I th like I said I think 36 to 40 you can use these two same macros here. All right, so you're going to also have to HQ items for the class quests. I'm going to go through this one with you. Now I'm going to do you do it with NQ mats, but you have if you have HQ mats, it makes things really much much easier. So in our quiet, we got tricks of the trade too, so we got those that CP back. Waste not. Oh, nice! Another tricks of the trade, and then we do two basic synth. One, two. This is a level thirty-five uh, class quest for the class quest, and then. Basic touch for this one because we will end up with 5 at the end of the durability number. Okay. And now... Ingenuity. Well, we got a tricks of the trade. If we do it, we get the CP back we just spent on Ingenuity. Waste not. Then do... One hasty touch. And basic touch. 
Two more basic touch. We want to be at yeah 100 CP or so left. So hasty touch. Another hasty touch. And good condition, nice. We do tricks of the trade. Okay, ingenuity, innovation, basic touch, great strides. We have one stack for using observe to bait a good or. Ah, we didn't get it. And then standard touch. 81% from NQ materials. But we got lucky with tricks of the trade. So if we, if you want a higher chance, you can just HQ the base materials and they are really easy. If you're having trouble to HQ them from zero, in, zero HQ mats. And the class codes give a lot of experience. I recommend doing them all the time. And also they give you tools to get updated with your gear. As well as chest piece for example. And that's level 36. Now... Yeah, that's better than what I'm currently having. No wait, craftsmanship is lower. Yeah, since, since the, the one I have is high quality, it's better. Than the higher level one I just got. But we did also get a chest piece. The chest piece is better than what I already have, so I'm gonna equip that. And now let's see if the macro still works for level 40 recipes as level 36. Same macro as last time. Okay, macro number one. I only changed the chest piece from the chest with the chest piece I got from the class quest level 35. Nothing else is changed with the gear from last time I showed it. Okay, macro number two. Perfect, even if we didn't upgrade the chest, it would have still worked. So there you go, we can use the same macro until level 45. Well, until level 40, I'm sorry. And then, once we're level 41, I will make a new macro. And I will utilize the name and brand of elements. I should also mention Leaf Quest for leveling up your crafter. It's really quick. They give insane amount of experience. And I'm level 38, and I'm still doing level 35 one. 25, sorry. Still doing level 25 one and still giving me tons of experience. So just pick whatever leaf quest you want. You feel like the materials are easy for the thing that they want. To craft the thing they want. And uh, just do those. Oh yeah, there's... If you go to your leaf quest, there's a card on the upper right corner. The card determines which type of leaf it is. Some... Some leaves are triple handings. If you wanna save allowances and gain more XP, you have more time on your hands to play the game and you wanna get more out of your allowances, then do those that give you three handings per allowance. I'm just doing the single handings because I don't have that much time. I just wanna level up quickly to do the guide for you guys. Bam, look at that XP gain, and this is only the level 25 one I just did. If you hand in HQ, you get double the amount of XP as well. So do your leaf quests.